Christopher won't get out of the bed. Get up. <laughs> get up. Get up. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. <laughs> hey, hey. some juice this morning. I'm going to jack up the energy a little bit with some ginger, spinach, and carrot juice, and then zzz, I got things to do. My baby love. It is a beautiful day, and it is my mom's birthday, and I, I am just desiring the most unique and something small but meaningful. I'm fixing to go out to look and see what I can find her for her special day, and um, I was thinking about something funny a while ago, but in a minute I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concoct with this pulp. Um, Something interesting, some kind of raw balls, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which makes me think about funny comments men make, you know, when really they should think these things through, you know. I don't know, I hear some very strange things, but, you know, have you ever heard a man say, um, well, I need my meat, you know, um, it, it's a manly thing, I, you know, men need meat. I, I need my protein. I'm, I'm trying to build my body and all this. And you know good and well, you've seen all these vegan bodybuilding men. You've seen all these extreme athletes that eat vegan. We know they don't need meat. But bless their heart, they don't know. And But what they don't know could actually be, I don't know, taking the air out of their tire, so to speak, you know? I mean, animal products... And for you all that don't know, that is also meat and cheese and dairy, the derivatives um, and, and the, the comings out of meat, you know? All these things, the butter, the fat, the, the lard, all these things, you know, they're high in fat. And a diet high in fat basically slows the blood flow. Do you know what I'm saying? The blood flow in the body is slowed down. The arteries and blood vessels closing up, so you can't really pump the blood like you need to, you know? I mean, it's necessary for man parts. Good blood flow, you know? This is what happens to men, and it's even happening to young men now because they're eating a high-fat diet of chemicals, high cholesterol, all these things. And... Even if you go to just a plant-based diet, you're going to get so many benefits from that. Lay off the fat, eating high carbs, high plants, more raw every day, you know, so you can be going strong more every day. Low in fat, you know. Isn't this what men want, you know, to have more stamina and more, um, Strength for the jobs they need to do. More blood flow is what I'm saying. Getting the blood pumping to the right places, increase, increasing stamina, bumping up the libido for men and women. I noticed an, a marked difference when I even went from um, raw vegan, more higher fat that I didn't know was high fat at the time, um, to low fat raw vegan. And then... It's a big difference, you know. It's a big difference in the lumbida. You feel different. Um, and, and it's something else, too. You know, the cleaner your diet is, I feel like the more pure and clean your intent is. You know what I mean? To, to love and give love and receive love. 
which is a different story. But, you know, in men and women, smoother skin, softer skin, less body odor. Hello. I don't even wear deodorant. My feet never stink. I can wear the same shoes for 10 years. They can be the nastiest shoes, and my feet just don't stink. I don't um, have smelly sweat. I don't. Um, I said this the other day, earwax, um, where people get in the shower and you hear them go, and they're hawking out all that stuff, or they're all this mucus in their nose. I have none of that, you know? All this acne people have on their back, all this extra oil and, and toxins trying to, to bust out of the skin so it can bust out of your body. None of that, you know? All these things, is this not what men want? But yet, yeah, men crack me up with the comments they have. And, and two, you know, um, I was thinking about this. About relationships with non-vegan men. You know, and I like to think that I would just... Um, like a pure love, you know what I mean? But the thing is that... that not just physical, but mental, you know, a connection with someone. And when people that don't even want to look at the reality of what's going on in this world, and the thing is, they might be the best in bed, or they might have all the sweet talk or whatever, but if they can't have a real conversation of any substance, I grow very, very bored with that quickly, you know? We'll talk more about this in just a second. I want you to loosely call the truth. You better be good to me. Hey. You better be good. <laughs> I'm back. I went to, um, my mom is getting the greatest present. And I can tell y'all what it is because this will air after her birthday. It is this, she has a new room where she closed in her deck. And it's this like kind of vine little tree. Um, it kind of looks like yellow bells, but it's, it's little lights on these brown stems, and it's going to light the corner in her new room. She will love it. So I got her that. But back to talking about, you know, a lot of times, the reason I'm talking about this, a lot of times people ask me, would I be involved with a non-vegan man? And the thing is, you know, I had been involved with a non-vegan vegan man for my whole dang life. And that was not what was the demise of my marriage. Um, you know, the thing is, that would not have destroyed my marriage. I, I feel like when, when you have a relationship with somebody and you have grown and, and you have maybe changed and whatever but you know they loved you when you were at a point where you probably weren't vegan or you weren't on your your new soapbox or whatever but now that you've changed and maybe you're even like a newbie in this lifestyle and now what they do is not good enough for you that's not really what i'm talking about i'm talking about now that i'm in a, a phase of my life where i can you know choose again would i choose that ultimately i i would think you know, I want to choose love. I want to choose real love. And this time around, it's like that movie Still Magnolia, you know, where Julia Roberts tells her mom, um, she's like, I, I'll, I'll have, you know, a few moments of wonderful rather than a lifetime of nothing special. That's what I want. Moments of wonderful. You know what I mean? Moments of real connection and real love and caring and really two people against the world, you know, that, that have each other's back, sort of. There's more to it to me than that. But the problem with the, the veganism comes into play when people knock my lifestyle or people try to demean what I think and say and feel about it, even if I'm not trying to cram it down their throat. Um, or they mock or laugh or, um, uh, you want some of this bacon, Tanya? Or, you know, stuff that they know is, is, I have a compassion in my heart and, a, um, an embedded belief in now and they will sort of mock and knock that. That's a problem to me. Or, um, you know, if, if we're out to eat or something, they're eating like a ribeye and the, the bloody juice is running down their face, though they want to lick the ribeye and then lick me, 
you know, I'm not much on board with that. But mostly it's, it's that when you don't feel, when you have deep compassions and convictions about things and it doesn't match, you're unequally yoked sort of with this other person, that can become a problem down the line, I think. That's where it comes into play for me, you know. When you have something in, in the down deep inside part of you, you know. But, you know, we can't just... There's more to it than that, you know. What about... Um, the health aspect gets me, too. You know, as you're older and you think about, well, you're if you're with this, this person that you might, be, you know, be with for the next 20 years, well, you're looking at on into your 60s. How's your health going to compare with theirs? And anything can happen, but are they living a healthy lifestyle so that you can enjoy your life together, you know, and your love together? And do you have things in this world that you, um, hobbies that you cultivate together, you know, healthy hobbies, interests that you both have that, that helps a relationship grow and, and be nurtured, you know? Not just you're doing your thing and, and they're doing theirs and occasionally you come together. That's, that's really not what I'm looking for, you know? I'm looking for, for more of like um, a best friend, you know? And a lover and a, a companion and a, a someone to hold my hand, you know? And I'll hold theirs back. And so, yeah, there's a lot more to it than that to me, but I don't want to be mocked and I don't want to be with someone who, who chooses to look away, you know, who won't even actually look at their choices for the, the reality that they are because they just frankly don't feel like it. Those are not the kind of people that, um, that I draw the vibrancy off of that I resonate on, you know. So a lot of times they won't have things to say that necessarily interest me or, um, they're just living on a different level. It's what it boils down to. So, anyway, I might come back to y'all in a minute. I've been on a little liquidy phase today. I've had lots of juice, zing, and I've had lots of um, little detox drinks going on, and I've had lots of extra water. And now I'm going to have a little fennel tea. And then later on, I might make the pulp from my crackers this morning into something tasty. We'll see what that might can be. Reckon there's a vegan man out there for me? Is that possible? <laughs> he better be good to me. That's all I know. <laughs> and he needs to know how to dance, you know? Or at least stand still while I, you know? <laughs> be good to me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's a red light. Must be time to dance. <laughs> Guess what? what? I saw the perfect job for me, Christopher. I mean, in addition to the jobs I do already. Here it is. It is tax season. This is the first year I will be filing taxes alone as a, you know, a big girl. I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I know that makes you feel secure, son. A little bit, yeah. But here is the perfect job for me. That's here. So, you know these places, these tack places that have the people standing out on the side of the road in the um, Statue of Liberty costume and they're dancing? And uh, their whole job is to just flag people in and dance in the Statue of Liberty costume. That has got to be the ultimate job for me. That's your job. And it probably doesn't pay good, but I would clearly have a tip jar out there, so I would be making... How are people going to tip you from a car? Well, they have to stop. I'm talking about right up here at the red light, God. where all of your friends would see me. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> also, they're hiring at Lowe's. I could work there. I could talk to people, and I could maybe mix paint, or I could work in the, the flower and garden section. And then Christopher said, you could eat some of the flowers. Some flowers are edible. But if you pick all the blooms, they'll probably fire you, so I don't know about that. But it's my mommy's birthday, and we have gifts. Yes. You have gifts, sir. Oh, I do? Yeah, I, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I even put your name on them. And so you can get a snack at Nana's. Yay. So we'll be seeing y'all later.